The skin practice carries on as planned. And after an hour of practice, a break is announced. During the break, James and John discuss their thoughts with the rest of the group. So, what do you guys think? Am I right or am I right? I guess, but I know, Jonna, Christmas is pretty important. So what is it that you want us to do? All she wants to do is quit and stop this Christmas game. Nonsense. But won't that land us in trouble? Yeah, my parents would freak if they found I could not have Christmas game. Oh, please. My parents would make me sad as a tree in the church as a punishment. What? We'll never know with my parents. I'm not taking the risk. Me neither. I've got a big Christmas list, but I simply must have it. Alright, alright. What if they cancel the sketch and not us? No way. Impossible. Everybody shush. How? Explain. As John explains her master plan, the break ends and that calls everyone back to the stage, not knowing that a trap has been set. The plan was simple, yet for dead. They all began practicing and everything was going on smoothly until the group eventually sprung their trap. Slowly, one by one, they all fumbled up and made repeated mistakes, deliberately doing everything wrong, leading to their crafty finale. That's it! Enough! I don't know what's gotten into you guys, but if this is how you're going to do it, in two weeks' time, I'd rather cancel the play. Now, now, Alex, let's not get too hasty. It was a bad run, that's all. Let's give the kids a break and start off in a few minutes. Why do we even bother? None of them are interested. I, huh? Well, if you did a better job, I'm sure we all would do well. What? What did you say? Alex goes into a frame of rage and starts yelling. The argument goes back and forth as Nat tries to calm him down unsuccessfully. Eventually, Alex calls off the play and leaves, telling Nat to just take care of negativity and to cancel everything else. The group is victorious in their plan and the play gets cancelled. The group decides to meet up at a cafe the next day to celebrate their victory. Well, that was a true success, wasn't it? Never doubted you one. I still can't believe you got away with it. Yeah, now it's rest and relaxation all the way to New Year. More like all the way to the mall. Thank you, Lord. And this year it says he was so mad. Yeah, you know, I heard that he was leaving the country on some work related stuff and won't be back to go the next year. Really? Good riddance! Oh no, we're in trouble now. What, what happened? It's mad. I can see her coming towards the cafe. Oh, we must have known. What do we do? Do we go up the back? Let's pretend we don't see her. She is in blind case. She knows something's wrong. Everybody, shush! Just smile and wave. She's just passing through. Hey, Nana. Oh, this guy. I think we should just call her over. You bag of water. You lost it. No, that's actually a good idea. It might reduce suspicion. Good call, Jana. You do it, James. You call her over. Sure, no problem. Hey, Nana, come join us, will you? You guys shop, I don't want to intrude. Not at all. Please join us. So, shall they go away? No, no. We were actually really sad about the values had to cancel the Christmas plane. I guess so. At least an interview is still there. I would have literally begged Alex not to go if we had to cancel that too. Seriously? I mean, he is the best one of all. Yeah, he's kind of good. Exactly. I mean, what is his obsession?
connection with the Christmas play every year for the past five years or so. The church has been putting him in charge, and even though he doesn't like doing it, what is up with that? Funny story. If it wasn't for one of Alex's Christmas plays, I wouldn't be where I am now. You're kidding, right? How did Alex play here to you? I'm serious. I used to come to church just because my parents made me do. I used to sit all morning and listen to the sermons. Christmas was no exception. The only difference was the place. But after I hit a year in rough patch and lost my first job, I was without a purpose. I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I was so confused. My mom prayed for me the whole night. I told me that God revealed to her that He was going to use me as a tool for His glory. Yeah, that's how I love you. But the following Sunday, Alex had written a Christmas play and it had a beautiful message. It's the thought that counts. It was how even a small act of kindness could make a huge difference. I remember thinking, yeah, right, as if a dog like that hit my boss, he called me and did my job back. I even went an extra my challenge he got that if he made my boss call me and did my job back, I believe in it and do something I never do. Surprisingly, that's just what happened. After I came out of church that day, my boss called me and he gave my job back. And what was the thing he said you would never do? Help Alex take the play every year. Wait, wait, really? You expect us to believe that? That Alex, uninterested Alex, our church is mean. His play changed you? May God give you your job back? Alex has always been like that. Maybe it's to get a job done or something, but I know that Alex remembers his duty as a crew. Ha, Alex is a tool, a real nut. I meant his purpose as a tool for God. And in this case, a tool is not supposed to look good, it's supposed to get a job done. Alex is a tool for God. A rusty tool is what he is. Well, I don't know about that, but what I do know is that when God gave us the tool Jonah, the one from the Bible, plus he didn't want to do what God said either, to do his will, I'm sure God will figure out a way to make this Jonah, the one who went out of her way to cancel the play, become a tool for his glory. <laughs> no, I, I didn't mean that it's all right. It was all part of God's plan. Anyway, I'll see you guys in practice this Sunday. But what about Alex? He won't come. Alex is a tool for God, just like Jonah. And I know that when God can use Jonah, uh, I mean, God is not to take away and bring Jonah where he needed to be, I'm sure he'll figure out something for Alex. So, Jonah from Chennai, will I see you for practice this Sunday? Or do you want to put God to the test, like your friend from the Bible? I should not leave the campaign. The group began stuck that that they were all along. It was there to get Alex to leave. But now, as the group leave planning to go back to darkness, Jonah begins a personal challenge with God. She decides that she will go to the darkness, and if Alex does indeed show up, she will see this as a sign of God and do her part to the play. Sunday approaches, and everyone is gathered and is getting ready for the final darkness. Show up. They actually feel pretty good now. 
Well, I guess you can give them another try also. I have an idea what to make For the closing, shall we have Jenna? It's Jonah. Well, she has the perfect height and the voice to carry out the message. I think that's a brilliant idea. What do you say, Jonah? Up for the task? Of course she will. The play went on to be a grand success. With the closing message, we clearly got it. That's the tool. That was Jonah's voice. As with Jonah, both from the Bible and of it, God can call any one of us to pick up his tool and do his will. But are we going to put our trust in him who came and died for us and pick up the tool that we were meant to be? Or are we going to put him to the test? Let us all once again put our trust in him as we begin this wonderful new year. On behalf of the Sunday School and Junior Youth Fellowship, we wish you all a Christ-centered Christmas. <laughs>